Why do you guys everything? run cross country? Because we love running. Running's cool. Because I like running. We got friends here. Because they have nothing better to do. It's because of John <laughs> and Devin. I have to wait in line. Oh, psych! I get to spend time with my friends and it makes me feel accomplished. Yeah. There's a little part of my heart right here and it says cross country on it. Because I hate myself. <laughs> sixth grade and walked every single race in sixth grade <laughs> literally and then I just kept on doing it kept coming back what made you stick with it um I don't know in, in middle school I guess it was just something to do and then in high school I really started liking it because of the team atmosphere it's a great group of kids if you are uh, looking to make friends and friends that are gonna last a lifetime uh, cross country is the place to do it um, this season I thought that it would be more of a growth type season where I would uh, not focus on so much of the team and uh, team aspect and the social aspect. I thought everybody was just kind of, you know, interesting. But then I realized, well, Nate, you're interesting. Like, these kids are like the reason that you come to school, you come to cross country after school. Like, well, why do you run cross country? Because of the team. It's the best part of it. It's, it wasn't so much of a specific workout, but it was the whole, I mean, there was memories that I made with everybody. Like the before races stuff where we pray and then we kind of do our team jump and stuff like that. It's the little things. There's not like one specific moment that I like love, love, love. It's all the little ones that I really like. Then, you know, our varsity boys team sitting at state watching Japanese pro wrestling as we're waking up all the people around us that meant that was that was a pretty big one and that just I don't know that was just kind of like the finale of it but there is so much in between uh, and it all meant a ton to me How do you prepare for the race? Um, I try to picture myself racing and try to remember how it's going to feel and what I need to be thinking and what I need to keep in mind while I'm racing about my form, my breathing, and my steps and what I need to remember as far as like what the course looks like and stuff like that. Do you enjoy racing? Yes. Sometimes. <laughs> what would you say your favorite part about racing is? Um, the strategy, I like being able to think, okay, if I pass her there, then I can finish and then I can get the time that I want. It's just, I think it's a lot of the strategy that I like the best. How do you feel after the race? And if you've ever seen me after a race, it's pretty much just starfish, <laughs> not doing much, just pretty much dead. Not as good. <laughs> not as good. I think um, excited because I finished. Uh, that feeling that you get after a race, like right when you finish and you know you've done well. So McNatt broke our school record. Did you think he had that in him? Uh, yeah, I knew he had it in him once he came back with my watch uh, from a workout and said, Nate, I broke your PR time. <laughs> so how long have you coached cross country? 
Good question. I have coached cross country since 1999, so this will be 17 years. I've always thought I was a track and field guy, but I have really come to love and respect cross country and cross country kids. And to be honest with you, I think it's the hardest thing that a high school kid can do athletically. I love those Saturday cathedral workouts. I think you see a lot about a kid, how they reveal themselves. I love those Saturday long runs out in the foothills where it's sunrise and it's beautiful. And we've had some really great performances at meets this year. My favorite race was the Sunfair one because I, the entire time, like people were saying, just say no to Bozeman because they'd won every single flight. And I saw that girl totally take first place, like almost through the whole race. And um, in that last like 600 meters, I was like, okay, she's within striking distance. It's gonna hurt like crazy, but I just tried to do my best. You just let it out. Just go for it. Like, and if I don't pass her, then fine. But I might as well make it as close as I can. Sending me big is going all out, letting, holding nothing back. Just lay it all out there. kid can have their moment and sometimes it's a, a team moment where the team has closed that gap and all of a sudden everybody's racing together as they should and then there's also that uh, championship moment where a kid exceeds his or her own personal expectations and really learns something about themselves so how did you feel actually making it to state this year it didn't feel real until we got into that uh, once we got in that shoot, I remember at districts, uh, Matt's dad came by and was like, like, you guys finished sixth. And I mean, my legs, I had given it everything I had and we were like, just barely pedal jogging with me and Chandler. And, I, and he said it and I like, I looked over at Chandler and I was like, dude, we made it. We just ran all that and then we busted our butts at district i don't know the feeling was amazing and then once we got there it was uh, also pretty surreal we ever all i ever want from the girls that i race with, is, race with is that they race with their whole heart and they leave it all on the course and i know that each one of those girls really gave it their all that day and that's and that's all i ever wanted you can never ask for more than that i came here as a sophomore uh, from Singapore and when I moved here I pretty much lost all my motivation to do anything. I never found anything that I really felt that I could improve in or even do that well in. Um, but then last year I joined cross country and... I never really thought I would be interested in running. <laughs> I knew that it was a team sport, but I never thought of it much as a team sport, more of an individual sport. And I didn't really like the idea of that because I thought that we wouldn't really be there to support each other and just were never there all together doing something cohesively. And I couldn't be more wrong. I just never, never pictured myself in cross country and I'm really glad I did. I don't like everything when you start off and be hard. Getting through high school is really tough, but I think what's important is every fall, every year, we come back here and we kind of have a family, and you're always going to have support. Even if like, I had a rough day at school, I get to go to cross country and just like run and be with my favorite people, and um, I've gained so many friends from this, and I have such great relationships. I am a totally different person. I am such like a better person because of it. It's taught me how to work hard. It's taught me how to work as a team and with other people. And the thing that I've learned the most, especially this year, is that you can run your whole life, but you only have four years to run, to run in high school. And so you gotta enjoy every moment of that because no matter how much you love it, you can't keep doing it. It has to end sometime. Cross country, it comes down to giving your best and to push your very hardest in practices and races. Most people don't believe that you can do uh, some amazing things, but you can. And with cross country, it takes about six or eight weeks of real serious training. And 
and it, it, it's a different world, it really is.